Good morning from Epcot. We're back again today. Um, got some stuff to talk about. I've got some theories to test. So let's get in there and we'll talk. So here's the theory. The theory was this was the line yesterday and it ran like, all around the construction wall. So today I was like, well, what if we go back? First thing, we'll rope drop, head to creation shop, see what happens. So that's what we did. And this is what creation shop looked like. So I know some time has passed, but my theory was if I came here the next day, what would there be? And would I have to wait in line to get it? So I waited, got in for rope drop, and um, like I said, it's the next day. And there is plenty of stuff. As you can see, there's definitely no shortage of these cups. And the same is true for everything else. Also, the limit for all this stuff is 10. 10 per person. So, keep that in mind. So, like I said, lots of stuff on the shelves. No problem getting what I wanted, which I did. Now, would I ever, ever encourage you to go this route? No, absolutely not. If there's something that you really want, I think that you should stand in line for it because you might miss out on it. But, but let's say you can't stand in line. You don't want to stand in line. A few options. One, check shop Disney. Check shop Disney. Two, go back a different day. Enjoy Epcot for the celebration, during the celebration. Go back day after the celebration, get your stuff. Anyway, we are now at the beach club. Say hi. Oh. And um, having some breakfast. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's just, it's important to keep in mind that there are, there are different ways to go about getting what you want. And sometimes, especially when you're watching videos or stuff on other platforms, you'll see people talk about the line and they'll focus so much on getting merch, but there's so much more to, well, usually, so much more to events like this than just merchandise. So keep that in mind. Think about some other options because there are probably other options available and uh, enjoy yourself. However it is that you want to enjoy yourself. Okay. So I said we're here at the beach club having breakfast. We weren't gonna talk about it, but um, we have to. So I got the breakfast bounty platter. What do you need to know? Mickey Waffle, only only an ear left, but look what Russ got. So this is the breakfast sandwich. It's massive. It's huge. It's like four pancakes. These are pancake pancakes. And like a whole like quarter of an inch of egg. So it's like four eggs four pancakes and like four pieces of bacon. It's a mobile breakfast bounty platter and they give you a side of breakfast potatoes. Like. And the price for that wasn't bad. It was nine bucks. Yeah. It's freaking ridiculous. This was 12. Mine was a better deal. This is definitely, well, I mean, they're both a lot of food, but wow. Okay. I can't, I can't hold off anymore. I need to finish. You ever seen a grown man jump walking down the... Come on, keep going. Well, I did, because because Russ just... Come on, let's go. Just almost got murdered by this. Why? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do you think it is the animals at Disney are attacking right now? <laughs> Why? First squirrels? I don't know. Now crawfish? I don't know, man. The, the other bird just had a snail. It probably would have murked that dude, too. Put oh him back in the... goodness. That about does it. <laughs> it was random there at the end. But the whole reason that I wanted to, like, talk to you today at all was to show you that you don't have to stand in those lines necessarily at Epcot to get stuff, you know? Yeah. And I think this is especially true now with this like new so a combination of the new like strategies from Disney to make sure that they have enough stuff to not sell out and the fact that Disney's not dealing with um, 
supply chain issues like they were at the start of the 50th and whatnot. So just something to, something to take note of and consider. I'm relaxed. It's a beautiful day. I'm taking in the nice weather. Yeah, for sure. It's beautiful out. We've been just sitting out here since we got home. So, um, but anyway, thank you for joining us. We hope you had fun on this really quick one. And we will see you in the next one. I hope it helps you all. Yeah. It's a really big point. I agree. Like, you know, you don't, you know, don't worry about phone call. Yeah, we, we're going to talk more about that. Yeah. I think we should talk more about that here in the next week. So put a pin in it and we'll get back to it. Yeah. A Disney pin. A Disney pin. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.